comments during the week. He said that he does surprise you with his pace and his bounce. Not easy to pick up, which is often the case with um, sling-type bowlers. Simon Kadic in that match playing for the uh, the Chief Minister's 11. He was out for a duck in the first innings and out for 12 in the second. So not much practice for Kadic. But this man picked up six wickets in the first innings and one in the second. So that's the reason he's in the side today. You can see the variation in size there too. Between Nu and Zoiza, the man who potentially could have taken the new ball and the small man, Malinga. Matthew Hayden on strike. He is a man, they say, spend 10 or 15 deliveries getting used to. That's why he's sucking in the big breaths, Matthew Hayden. He knows this over and the next very important against this man. They're talking mid-140s. He lets them go. A good thing that Kumar Sangakara there, the keeper, was on the job too, nice and early. That was almost a start of four, it would have been four buys. Well, here we go, very casual into the crease. Watch where the ball in his in his delivery stride goes right the way back behind his back. He does well to keep it straight when he's in some, any sort of form and he has to bring it back around and big round arm to counteract that backswing. He's up to 143 already. Really is an extraordinary action. That arm is, is as low as I've seen it for a test match bowler. Billy Bounds, the umpire in the background there, he delivers it from oh, around about his tie. That's exactly what Simon Kadic did mention in the post match press conference. That he was difficult to pick up because his right arm is a lot lower than you think and it's right in front of the umpire. The umpires are Billy Bowden from New Zealand there. He's 16 test matches, but highly regarded right around the world these days as one of the premier umpires in the game. And Alim Dar from Pakistan, impressive at the World Cup in South Africa. This is his eighth test match. Wakar Yunus lookalike, Alim Dar. Played cricket around Pakistan too. Nice bit of carry there through the keeper. Sangakara is the keeper. Romish Kalawathara, who was the other keeper in this squad. He's been left out. Sangakara has been in good form in recent times. Made his highest test score against Zimbabwe earlier in the year, 270. And also made 203. Sangakara opening the batting against the Chief Minister's 11 here during the week. So he's in good batting form. He's also got the gloves for this test match. And the Sri Lankan selectors are of the opinion that Sangakara got tired in the series against Australia in March. But there was a one-day portion of that tour as well as the Test Match series. Sangakara averaged 50 with the bat, I think, in the one-day series, then tired a little bit in the Test Matches. Glove work dropped off a little bit, and his batting dropped down uh, substantially as well. So there's no one-day portion of this tour. He's got the gloves in a Test Match. I know they're hinting at bringing in Kalu for the Test Matches and leaving Kumar with the gloves in one-days. Tie enough start, another maiden. 